time for a quickie with Sheree. That's me! Um, for you guys who are new, uh, Quickies with Sheree is where I dig into my cauldron of samples because I've been collecting samples for all of my life. And this cauldron is actually why I do not purchase samples anymore. I just, if I think I'm going to like it, I buy the full size because you end up with all of this. Um, so what I do is I dig in here and pick out three or four colors and then I try and make a look uh, using those colors and then I give you like a mini review on the color and the payoff and the functionality and all that blah, 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 blah. and I thought this was a good way for us to uh, explore some companies together and also for me to use my samples. Uh, so I'm just gonna dig in there. The only thing I can add to it is like a highlighting kind of color if I don't if I don't choose one naturally uh, and then of course I'll finish my whole face and we'll have some excitement. Alright so let's pick some things. Oh man, <laughs> this is going to be hard. Okay, this is um, from Scaredy Cat Cosmetics, and this is in Kid You Not. I'm pretty sure that this is a matte red, so that's going to be an adventure. This is Candy Eyes Cosmetics in Majestic, a purple. <laughs> it's about to get crazy in here, guys. This is Geek Chic Cosmetics, Voice of the Still, and I do have this in full size because I actually love this color, so... I already know what this color looks like, but it is a pale, like, white fleshy tone, and it has a lot of sparkle in there. So, oh, God. <laughs> this is going to be a very interesting look, folks. This is Firestarter Cosmetics in Love Bites. This is a blue. So we have blue, red, purple, and white. Mm. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to use this lighter color and just put that all up in my lid, just everywhere and every place. And some blue, we're going to put that just on the lid, not up in the eyebrow area. Doing it so fast, guys. I'm like a magician. And we're going to put this purple on the outer corner. It's really light, so it just kind of blue blends. But, you know, that's part of this fun, is we're going to use all these colors. I look very 80s in this, this look. <laughs> Dance break! Okay, so now I'm going to use my liner, my liquid liner. And I, I had to work with this uh, matte red, so I was really shocked by its appearance. I use my Fix It spray from the All Natural Face. I love this stuff for foiling, uh, so I just kind of mix it in a lid. There's a little example of what it looks like, and then I'm trying to get that all up in my eyeball without getting it everywhere, which I'm not very successful at. Uh, but I just kind of used it to top off the black. There it is. Oh, goodness. Flawless girl. Get it, get it. Okay, so now I'm going to finish the rest of my face, and I think once I do, like, my rest of my face, it'll look better. I'm also trying to let it dry, because when you use the Fix-It spray, if you uh, open your eyelids too much before it dries, uh, you'll get lines all up in your creases. So I'm trying to let this marinate. Okay, so there's my whole face. This is definitely the most interesting uh, one of this that I have tried, but it did kind of get me to experiment with some color, and I'll do a close-up in a second. Um, my impressions. The Firestarter Cosmetics... Uh, sample, this is a really good consistency. It's not a color that I would wear very often. It's very blue. Um, but I mean, it's workable and it's got a nice sort of mermaid tint to it. Uh, so I like this a lot. The next one is the Scaredy Cat Cosmetics. I love this company. Um, their samples are huge, which is why I've never purchased a full size. Um, I've pressed all of my Scaredy Cat shadows except for the mattes, and this one is a matte. So I used this as a liner. I just mixed it with the All Natural Face Fix It spray and then did it up and then made some liner. The Candy Eyes Cosmetics color in Majestic. This is a light, light purple. I actually can't even really see it mixed in with the blue, but that's part of this game is we're wearing it. Um, but I really like the consistency, uh, so I love it. So I will link all these people down below so you can go buy some of their stuff. Oh wait, and the other one. Geek Sheet Cosmetics, uh, the Voice of the Still. This is the one that I used all over the lid. It's just that pale sort of fleshy color. I love Geek Chic. Um, I would probably order from them if I hadn't had bad customer service <laughs> the first time I ordered. So uh, I have a lot of their samples because that's the only order I ever made. And there's that. So let's do a close up. My left eye went a little wonky because I opened up my eye and got some of the red on my lid, but it's real life, folks. The world ain't ready for this technical skills. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quickie. I'm definitely not gonna wear this to the grocery store and scare people. Ah! Um, I'm sure my husband will really think it's funny. But anyway, um, let me know down below if you guys like this series and what you think of my red eyeliner, because I've never done that before. Hope you guys have an amazing day. I'll see you later. Bye!